All right, everybody, I'm calling it right now. The best comedy of 2015 is going to be Jurassic World. Explosion sounds. So this Jurassic World movie just keeps getting more and more interesting to me. It, it was great that they announced they're doing another Jurassic Park movie because I love the original Jurassic Park film. And then when they announced that Colin Trevorrow was going to be directing it, I was like, Oh, okay. So his first film, his only other film, Safety Not Guaranteed, is a great little movie. Little being the operative word. It's a great indie movie about people who want to go back in time. And the cast that he put together is really fun and really charming. And Jake Johnson is one of my favorite comedic actors going right now. But there is nothing in that movie that says, whoa, this guy needs to do a movie about dinosaurs. Or at least, not to us, but clearly it said that to somebody at Universal because here we are. So then Trevorrow gets Chris Pratt to star in it, who's hysterical. He gets his old pal Jake Johnson. Again, love Jake Johnson. Even the funny little kid from Iron Man 3 is gonna be in this. And then last night we find out he's cast Judy Greer, who of course is Kitty on Arrested Development. She's the voice of Cheryl on Archer, and she's been in a ton of other projects where she's been really, really funny, including 13 Going on 30, which I'm not ashamed to admit, a peach of a film. Just a peach. So we've got all this really funny talent heading off to Jurassic World and it starts shooting this summer. Now, I have a hard time taking literally two thirds of the Jurassic Park franchise seriously. The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 were disappointing at best, but the OG Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies of all time. And one of the things that Spielberg does really well, one of the things he's always done really well, is building this tension, building a sense of real danger, and then relieving it with humor. Go all the way back to Jaws and we're gonna need a bigger boat. And Jurassic Park has all kinds of great examples of that kind of thing, from, well, we're back in the car again, to, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Or like three-fourths of Jeff Goldblum's dialogue, really. So Spielberg kept it light while he created this real sense of danger and real scares. That lightness and the comedic part of it shouldn't be a problem for Trevorrow. He's got so much comedy chops in this cast that that's just going to show up. The charm and charisma of his cast is just going to show up even if he screws everything else up. But the big question is, can he pull off that tension? Can he build the tension in the right way so that that humor can really shine and really be effective in the midst of dinosaurs chasing funny people? So hopefully he can build that tension. We know we're going to get some of the comedy and maybe, just maybe, we'll all end up with a really good Jurassic Park movie that's going to make us forget about the time that dinosaur ate that sat phone and kept the, the, the ringtone kept showing up. That, that was not a clever device. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited about all these funny people in a Jurassic Park movie? I am. Let me know what you think and come back next time for more movie news on Cinefix Now. I mean, like, that is one big pile of That's a great line. That's a great line.